Hello, and welcome to my Algebra 1 review series. This video covers Chapter 9, Section 1, titled Adding and Subtracting Polynomials. By the end of this video, you will have reviewed past lessons describing polynomials, finding the degree of a polynomial, and classifying a polynomial. You will review the process for adding and subtracting polynomials. Please leave a like if you find this video to be helpful. Give your classmates a heads up too. It'll more than likely help them, and it'll certainly help this channel to be seen by more students. If you'd like me to cover any of these topics in greater detail, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I read them and do my best to address each as time permits. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you. Let's get into it. Uh, hello, and, and before we get started, let's look at a few definitions. A monomial. A monomial is an expression that is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. Each of the following is a monomial. So the number 12 is a monomial. The variable y is considered a monomial. Negative 5x squared plus or times y is a monomial. And c, the variable c, or divided by 3 is a monomial. The fraction c divided by 3 is a monomial, but the expression c divided by x is not a monomial because there is a variable in its denominator. denominator. The degree of a monomial. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. For a non-zero constant, the degree is zero. Zero has no degree. And then a polynomial. A polynomial is a monomial of, this, of the sum or difference of two or more monomials. The standard form of a polynomial. The standard form of a polynomial means that the degree of its monomial terms decrease from left to right. And then the degree of a polynomial, the degree of a poly polynomial in one variable is the same as the degree of the monomial with the greatest exponent. So the degree of 3x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 1 is 4 because the highest exponent value is in the very first term on the left, which is 3x to the fourth power. So the Po the degree of this polynomial is a fourth degree polynomial. So in looking at objective 1a, describing polynomials, we're going to look at the same terms we just looked at, but it doesn't hurt to repeat them. A monomial. A monomial is an expression that is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. Each of the following is a monomial. 12 is, y is, minus 5 x squared y is, or c divided by 3 is. The fraction c divided by 3 is a monomial, but the expression c divided by x is not a monomial because there is a variable in its denominator. You cannot have a variable in the denominator of a monomial. Um, the degree of a, a monomial, the degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. For a non-zero constant, the degree is zero. Zero has no degree. But we can look at it, like in right here. I could say it for the monomial, if going back, in fact, well, I'll just write a new one. If we had six x to the fourth, y to the third, what is the degree of this monomial? The degree is you take the variable, the exponents of the variable terms, and you add them together. So it's four plus three is equal to 7 is the degree. This is a 7th degree monomial. OK? Example 1, degree of a monomial. We just did it. Let's do it again. Find the degree of each monomial. Remember exponents and sums. Remember that, exponents and sums. So what are we talking about? What is the degree of 2 thirds x? Well, what is the, what is the exponent for the x term here? It happens to be, what, 1x, right? So the degree is 1 on this one. How about 7x squared y cubed? Remember, I said up here, remember exponents and sum, right? So we're going to add them. 2 
2 plus 3 is equal to 5. The degree of this monomial is 5. And how about this is a constant, a non-zero constant. What is the degree? It has no degree. Remember, it said that a non-zero constant has a zero degree. Okay, example one, checking your understanding. So this is expected, expecting that you stop the video every time we see check your understanding and work the problem. And then, then when you come back, you can follow up and we'll continue talking. So I'm assuming now you've stopped the video and you've returned. So it says, critical thinking, what is the degree of 9x to the zero power? Well, the degree of, of 9x to the zero power is zero. And the reason why is that any non-zero um, constant or term is is zero as its as its degree. So that's it's zero and any non-zero constant. I'll just write non-zero constant. Oops, constant is zero. Okay. Okay, objective 1B. It's another objective point in this section. Describing polynomials. So a polynomial is a monomial of the sum or difference of two more monomials. So let's look at this. We can see we're going to talk about degree here. So what is, here are four terms. Right here, I'm just going to draw a little line. Here are four terms right here. And what what are the degrees of these monomials? So it's a, the sum or difference of two or more monomials. That's what a polynomial is. And these are monomials, and it's the sum or difference of them. There's a 7x in here, but it's a subtraction. So there's a difference, right? So what is the degree of this x to the fourth? Well, it's 4. And the degree of x squared is 2, because it goes to a 2. How much the degree of 7x, or x? It's a 1, because the power is x to the first power up here. And what is the degree of a constant? A non-zero constant is 0. The standard form of a polynomial means the degree of its monomial terms decreases from left to right. So this is the standard form. So we have a power to fourth here, then we have a square, we have a one and zero, okay? These are decreasing from left to right. So as long as that's what's going on, that's how, that is the standard form to write a polynomial with the highest exponent to the left and the least, and in order to the least on the right. The degree of a polynomial in one variable is the same as the degree of the monomial with its greatest exponent. So the degree of 3x to the fourth, 5x squared minus 7x plus 1 is 4 because the highest exponent in this polynomial is 4 and therefore it's 4. This is a fourth degree polynomial. So after you simplify a polynomial and combine the like terms, you can name the polynomial based on its degree or the number of monomials it contains. So let's look at a, a few. It says polynomial, 7x plus 4, right here. The degree is 1, because it's x to the first power, right there. Degree is 1. The number of terms, 2, 7x and 4. This is a binomial, bi meaning 2. It's a binomial. How about this one? 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. What's the degree? 2. It's a second degree polynomial because of the highest exponent is 2. It's a quadratic. The name of this, since it's 2 here, we call that quadratic. And there are three terms, and this is a trinomial. There are three nomials, three monomials in this trinomial. Okay? How about 4x cubed? The degree is 3. The exponent is 3. It's cubic. Anything to the power 3 is cubic. There's one term, and it's a monomial. So it's a cubic monomial. And how about 9x to the fourth plus 11x? 
the degree is four because the there's one the one mono mill in here. The highest exponent is four. It's a fourth degree. We don't say there's nothing for cubic and quadratic and linear. Okay, this is fourth degree. Two terms binomial. It's a fourth degree binomial because there's two terms. And five is zeroth degree. It's a constant. The number of terms is one, and it's just a monomial. Okay. And I might have skipped it in the very first one. 7 plus 4, 7x plus 4 is 1 degree, and it's called a linear. It's because it's the power of 1, linear, like a line, right? Number of terms, 2 binomial. Okay, classifying polynomials, for example, 2 here. It says write each polynomial in standard form. Then name the polynomial based on its degree and the number of terms. We just went over that in that chart on the free previous slide. So this one here, it says put it in its standard form. So it's 5 minus 2x. But when you put it in standard form, the x has, a, has an exponent of a 1 in here. And it's higher than 0, which is 5. So from left to right, it's the negative 2x to the first power plus 5. This is put them in order. And what is this? This is a, a, a linear binomial. Okay, a linear binomial. How about, uh, I'm going to write that in, in fact. I'll say linear binomial. Okay, linear binomial. Okay, how about B here? 3x to the 4th minus 4 plus 2x squared plus 5x to the 4th. So what do we do here? So it says after combining like terms, it said in a previous slide, so we have to combine the like terms. And what are the, com the like terms? Excuse me, I'm writing all over the paper here by bumping into it. Excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. So um, the like terms here, we have a 3x to the 4th and a 2x squared. We have a 5x to the 4th, right? So in, in these terms up here, so you, the x to the 4th combine. So if you take 3x to the 4th and 5x to the 4th, here in, uh, we're like, putting them in order here we haven't added them yet but these two go kind of go together we could we could actually group them if you wanted to to make sure you see them then we have the plus 2x squared right here and the minus 4 so these terms are by the, they're fine because there's nothing to add but then when you combine these so these are in order highest to lowest from left to right and we're going to add them so now 5 and 3 is 8 so it's 8x to the fourth okay plus 2x squared minus 4. And what is this? This is a quad, this is not a quadrant, this is a fourth degree, fourth degree um, trinomial. Okay, fourth degree trinomial. Oh, here they are down here, like they're actually written right down here too, okay? Good enough. I'm getting the feeling you're going to probably get to do some next. Okay, an example two, check your understanding. I guess that means that you're going to stop the video, hopefully, and try these on your own. And uh, then when you come back, we'll continue on with the video. So I'll wait for a couple seconds here. <clears throat> okay, I'm assuming you've stopped the video, worked the problems, and you've come back. So let's, let's talk about them. So it says, write each polynomial in standard form, then name each polynomial by its degree and the number of its terms. So let's take a look at this. What's this first one? 6x squared plus 7 minus 9x to the fourth power. So let's start off and let's just write it in standard form. So what does that say? It says that we write minus 9x to the fourth. Then the next term is plus, oops, 6x squared. And then finally, at the end, it's plus 7. So this is a what? This is the order, 4, 2, 0, if you will. And they're going from highest to lowest, from left to right. This is a fourth power, fourth power. And, um, okay, fourth degree. Let's put it this way. Fourth degree. And it is a trinomial. Okay, let's do B. What is, let's put it in order. So we're going to 
changing the order, we're going to have minus y to the third, and then we have plus 3y, and we have minus 4. Okay, so this is a trinomial. And what kind? It's to the third power, so that means cubic. Okay, how about this one down here? We have 8 plus 7v minus 11v. Well, you put them in order, so what we could do this, we could say 7v minus 11v plus 8. Well, these v's are going to add together, right? So you have 7, you're going to have negative 4v plus 8. So what is this? This is a linear polynomial, and it is a bi it's a linear binomial, right? Because there are two terms. Okay? Okay, objective two, adding and subtracting polynomials. So this is a, just a slide that gives you a, diff, uh, a makes a statement. It says you can add polynomials by adding like terms. So it, you have to collect the like terms, and then you add the or subtract whatever it's going to be, but you're going to add, in this case, add them, and come up with the result. Okay, in example three, we're going to add the polynomials. So what they're asking us to do is simplify this addition problem here, which is add the polynomial 4x squared plus 6x plus 7. That's the one polynomial. It's a trinomial plus the other trinomial, 2x squared minus 9x plus 1. So there's two methods they say you can do. You can add them vertically, which is like a standard addition kind of a problem, vertically up and down. So line up the terms and the terms, the like terms, and add add the coefficients. Or method two is you can add them horizontally, which is like you can group them in groups. And we'll talk about it a little bit here. But so if we're going to do them vertically, you just line up. Like you see, we have the, the x squared term here, and then the x term here, and then the constants here in order. And the x squared terms are above each other. The x terms are above each other, or above and below. And the constants are. So now you see we've lined them up. They're lined up. It's standard form, right? We have the two. Uh, the, the x squared is in the leading position. Okay, so now you do what? We're going to add them. And adding them is 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 minus 9 is minus 3x. And 7 plus 1 is 8. So here's the solution. 6x squared minus 3x plus 8. So now we do them horizontally and group the terms and add the coefficients. It's the same thing, only a little different. So here's the terms, again, with the x squared term identified. And now we're going to break it into groups. We're going to put, we're going to make a group putting the x squared terms together. And then we're going to make a group putting the x terms together. And then we're going to make a group putting the constant terms together. And then when you do, it's the same thing as before. 4 plus 2 is 6 x squared. 6 Minus 9 is negative 3x, and 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay, for example 3, we're going to check your understanding. And, and as you know now, I mentioned it earlier. That means you're going to do the, hopefully you're going to do these on your own. Stop the video, work them, and come on back, and then we'll discuss them. Okay, now that you've, you've come back. It says simplify each sum. Well, they're, they, hopefully these are going to come out easy. And I'm going to use method one. I, I like the method one method. I'm not going to do both methods. If you'd like to ask in a comment below, I, I might answer the question there. But I, I'm just going to do method one. So I'm going to write this. I'm going to say 12 m squared plus 4. Oops, that's a plus right there. And it's plus 8 m squared plus 5. And so what does that equal? So you have 12 and 8 is 20, is it not? 20 m squared, and it's plus 4 plus 9, 5 is 9. 20 m squared plus 9. Let's do b. t squared minus 6, and plus 3t squared 
plus 11. So t squared minus 6, 3t squared plus 11 equals what? 1t squared and 3t squareds is 4t squareds and minus 6 plus 11 is 5. So it's 5 plus 5. 4t squared plus 5. Let's do this one here. 9w cubed, 9w cubed plus, okay, so Okay, plus 7w, okay, wait, there's the other term. So plus 8w squared, and this is plus 7w cubed, plus, ooh, look at this, we're going to slide right down here. we got to put the 4 down here because there's a plus a 0 up on this one. There's no constant term. And so we have a 3, a, th a cubic, a cubic, a square, and then... A constant. So now we have no w squared. Do we have two w squareds? No, we do not. All we have is w cubed, w cubed, and the other term. So we line these up this way. We're adding them. So this is seven or nine w cubed plus seven w cubed. Nine and seven is sixteen w cubed. And then we have plus. There's no other eight. There's no other w squared term. So it's plus eight w squared, and then it's finally plus, oops, there's no nothing to match the plus 4, plus 4. 16w cubed plus 8w squared plus 4. So let's see what this one does. A little bit longer. Let's see how this one goes. We have a cubed and a cubed. Okay, so I'm going to say 2p cubed, and then we have a squared and a squared. So we have plus 6p squared Okay, yep. And then we have 10, then we have a p plus 10p. And we're going to add 9p cubed plus 11p squared plus 3p. Okay, what does that come out to? So it's 2p cubed and 9p cubed. So it's 11p cubed. And these are two pluses, so it's pluses. 6 and 11 is 18. Oh, 17. Got to add a little faster, I guess, in my head. P squared. And then it's 10P plus 3, so it's 13P. Okay? So in example 4, they'd like us to do some subtracting of polynomials. So in chapter 1, you learned that subtraction means to add the opposite. So when you subtract a polynomial, change each of its terms to the opposite, and then add the coefficients. Kind of makes sense. So let's do it. So they're giving us the problem here of simplifying 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus, right here, minus, we're doing subtraction, x cubed minus 8x squared plus 11. Choosing method one, subtracting vertically, I lined up the, the original terms, which is the 2x cubed, the 5x squared, and the negative 3x in order, from left to right, highest to lowest. And then I wrote the new one beneath it, so minus, and I have parentheses now, because we're going to be dealing with this minus for all of these terms. So I have parentheses in here. So it's minus x cubed, which is, there's the x cubed right here and minus 8x squared, and plus 11. And notice here that I've aligned them. I've aligned here for the, ex, the, the exponents, here, but look at this. There is no exponent for the x term. Or there, there's no, yes, I mean, there is no term that goes along with the x term. And there, up here on the top, there's no constant that goes around with the constant term in the bottom polynomial. So you can add zero in there, just like I did. Or leave it blank, like I'm showing below. It's blank, and I'm going to leave it blank. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it, and now we're going to change it to a, an addition. And in order to do that, you're going to change the value of each, the sign of each term inside. So positive x cubed is negative x cubed. Negative 8x squared is positive 8x squared. 
and down here, positive 11 is now a negative 11. And we're going to add them. So if you add them, you're going to get 2x cubed minus 1x cubed gives you 1x cubed. 5 and 8x squared gives you 13x squared. You have no nothing to add or subtract at this term, so it just stays minus x, 3x. And there's no constant here, or you could say cause 0 is a constant. Minus 11 plus 0 is 11, minus 11. Now we do the same problem here in the subtracting horizontally. You write out the same terms, just like we did here, the simplified terms. Write them out, and it starts off with a negative right here. That's how the original equation shows, negative right here, and negative up here. Okay, I'll mark that one red too. Right here, the negative, negative up there. Go back to the blue. And we're multiplying everything by the negative here in this, this term. Well, we're going to now switch them over to getting rid of the negative term outside. We're going to get rid of the parentheses, and we're going to multiply every term inside this trinomial right here by negative 1. So now we're going to get 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus x cubed plus 8x squared minus 11. Okay, then you group them. You're going to group the x cubes together, and when you do that, uh, and then we'll group, group the x squareds together. And so when you add them now, you're going to get 2 minus 1 is 1, 1x one cubed. 5 and 8 is 13x squared, and there's nothing to add or subtract to the negative 3x, so you get negative 3x, right? And then the 11, there's nothing to go with the 11, negative 11, you get negative 11. So the answers are the same, both sides. Okay, example four, check your understanding. Simplify each. So I think you know, I'd like you to pause the video and go give it a shot. And then when you come back, we'll go over them together. You know, doing the problems is important. You have to do the problems if you can, because that's what straightens out the little bugs, the little errors that we make in mathematics are normally process errors in our thinking. And you make the mistake, you think one thing and do something else. And the only way to fix that is to do it a bunch of times or get a number of times to go over and do it this and do it this. Otherwise, you make the same mistakes over and over and over again. At least that's what I found. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, so if you paused it and now you've come back, let's go ahead and get, give it a go. So we're going to start off. I'm going to do the method one. And I'm going to start off right here. I'm going to say V cubed plus... 6v squared minus v. Now we're subtracting, don't forget, right here. We're subtracting. This is differences we're doing. Minus, the, I'm going to put a parenthesis here because we're going to do something with the negative sign to all the terms, right? So now it's 9v cubed, and it's minus 7v squared, and it's plus 3v. Okay. Now, in order to fix this, they would like us to convert all these terms to their opposites. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say v cubed plus 6v squared minus v. Now I'm going to say plus minus 9v cubed. Okay, so this is a minus. Plus a minus 9v cubed. And, um, excuse me, minus 7, so it's a plus 7, plus 7v squared, and a plus makes it a negative 3v. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add these together. So it's 1v minus 9v is going to give us minus 8v, minus 8v cubes. 6 and 7 is 13 plus 13 v squareds and a v minus v and a minus 3 v is negative 4 v. Oh, that's a v right there, everyone. At least it's trying to be a v. Okay, let's go to problem B. So I'm going to again, method 1, 30 d cubed minus 29d squared minus 3d 
minus parentheses out here 2d cubed 2d cubed that's a 2 by the way two, I'm going to erase that and start over my pen my pen's been acting up a little bit maybe it's just the way I hold it my, now it's I'm sorry 2d cubed 2d cubed and plus d squared plus d squared and no d term in this binomial here so now we're going to convert it i've got a parenthesis closing it there so now i'm going to go multiple go through this and i'm going to get we're going to be adding it now when we're done so we're going to say 30 d cubed minus 29 d squared minus 3 d now since this is minus it's going to be a plus we're going to be adding right so it's a minus d cubed minus 2 d cubed minus 2 d cubed and now it's a plus d squared minus d squared um, minus d squared and it's nothing there's a zero out here so just this we'll put a zero there okay plus zero if you like and we'll put a line here and now we'll say 30 minus 2 is 28 d cubes and minus 29 minus 1 is minus 30 d squareds and we have a minus 3d and nothing to countermand it minus 3d there's our answer on that one 28 d cubed minus 30 d squared minus 3d and the final one here um we're matching up everything has a mate so to speak there's no missing terms so 4x squared plus 5x plus 1 minus 6x squared plus x plus 8 we're going to convert that over but in, so it's, now it's going to be 4x squared plus 5x plus 1 now it's plus right we're going to add a negative 6x a negative 6x squared a negative x negative x and a negative 8 negative 8 because this was positive and now it's negative this was positive now it's negative okay makes sense draw a line and add them 4 minus 6 is minus 2x squared 5 minus 1 is 4x and finally 1 minus 8 is minus 7 and I think I think we have it I think it's all there looking good